What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in the wonderful world of Disney. This is part two of my family's road trip experience here in this area. It's been a while since I've been in Orlando but I guess really would you say this is a vlog within a vlog. Why I say that is I wanted to film the T-Rex Cafe separately just because this restaurant is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is so epic. This restaurant I've been wanting to eat at since about 2020, but have never really had the chance. So even when I lived here in Florida, I never had a chance to check this place out. And luckily the wait was not all that bad. We only have to wait about, wait about 25 minutes. But also just check out this Brachiosaurus that they have out here. I know it's not real, but dude, this, I mean, this thing is so huge. I mean, come on, I'm like right here. And that's like right there. That's like a hundred of me. Just think about that, a hundred of me. That would weigh way too much because I weigh way too much. So anyway. Let's check out a few more things on the outside and let's go inside. This is so amazing. So without further ado, you guys, let's do it. Anchor down. First thing is check out this Jeep. I just find this Jeep so cool. I kind of doubt that it is actual or real. Maybe it came from Dino Land. I don't really know. And the other thing is check out this cafe sign, this, uh, this logo, if you will, of the restaurant. Now, I think the company that owns this, the restaurant chain that owns this, this is owned by the Rainforest Cafe Company. So, honestly, I really wish they would make more of these. So let's make the descent, you guys. This reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Land of the Lost, you know, where they disappear into the mountains and they come out onto the other end where the past, the present, and the future all collide, thus creating a dinosaur that is just randomly sitting here in the middle of a restaurant. So it's like the moment that we descended into the restaurant, it's like this T-Rex came alive. <laughs> but actually I'd say this one's a little bit different because it has a lot more meat on its bones. There's a raptor right there too, which is pretty awesome. I mean, just look at him. He's looking at me and he's, well, he was moving a second ago, so I don't know really, oh no, no, he does. Slowly but surely, and that guy's poking him. And now you guys, we have not made it to the restaurant side thus yet, but this is what we have look, or to look forward to. That right there is a giant octopus. And back there, I don't know if you can see that, that is the, uh, the Ice Age room, which like after like every 30 minutes to an hour or so, there will be a meteor shower that happens here in the restaurant much like the rainforest cafe by the way he's talking sweet and it is really cool i can't wait to show it you guys but i think as of right now the t-rex he's is wanting to make himself known oh wow <laughs> this place is so cool you guys who would have thought and it looks like maybe he's uh Alrighty you guys, they just now called us in. It actually took way less than 25 minutes. That actually makes me proud considering it is very hard to get in here. Sometimes up to about three hours. So let's, let's walk around and check this place out. It's, it's like Dinosaur the Ride meets a restaurant. Dude, I'm nerding out so bad. This is so cool. Like we're not even in here yet guys. And just check this out. There is a T-Rex, another one right there actually i think that might be an allosaurus and on the other end there's that giant octopus i really really dig how it makes you feel like you're in a uh, what do you what do you call it a uh, paleozoic sea back at a time when everything that was small in present day is now gigantic just, i mean just check look, and look at the look at the size of that eye that that is impressive to see something like this 
present day. I wish they had something like this when I when I was a kid. Now I will say, not only do they have dinosaurs and ancient aquatic beasts, but they also have creatures from the Ice Age as well. I really dig this mammoth. He's moving his head around a little bit. And the little baby mammoths are enjoying themselves in the snow, or the, I should say, fake snow. Large elephants that lived during the last ice age, 4,000 to 120,000 years ago. They had thick, shaggy fur to insulate themselves from the cold, long tusks and protection from digging in the snow. So, yeah, think about the little guy. And the great big old mama, boy. what am I trying to say? And the great big old mama mammoth. There we go. Now I really, really dig this. Check out the kitchen or fire. No, kitchen of fire. Just <laughs> so I guess you can, or they'll cook stuff for you on request. At least I'm guessing anyway. And now I just noticed this overhead, but there is also a pterodactyl looking right below us. I think we're going to move away from the pterodactyl, and we are going to go to the ice room. So yeah, you guys, it might actually get a little bit chilly in Florida. Or maybe not. By the way, we got ourselves another little baby man. Actually, I'm not going to lie, it actually does feel a little bit colder in here. Now, when this, when those meteor showers happen every 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm, or I'm, I'm saying, um, this room will light up. And it is a really beautiful light display. I mean, given it is already a real, really beautiful light display, but we'll just say it gets better. And I really love that they went the extra mile because there is a T-Rex embedded in the ice. It reminds me a lot of that movie, Ice Age. So let's go back out to the jungles, shall we? Let's see what they have in here. I'm supposing, well, I suppose there are more dinosaurs. Of course, this is a dinosaur pa or paleozo or paleo or Jurassic themed restaurant. So I know we're gonna see dinosaurs. Like this guy right here, a patasaurus. His neck looks a little bit bent. But then again, we also have this little guy right here. And he looks like he's trying to eat a rock. Yeah. I think he was trying to eat a rock. And I really like how this guy is just hiding in the shadows, waiting to, waiting to headbutt somebody. I know he's about to do it. I know he wants to do it. Now I'm thinking, I wonder how you get a seat with the Triceratops. Because it looks like there are two places you can sit, two booths. And one family already has one of them. But just check this out. This is completely hidden in a corner right here. I mean, that isn't sweet. But I'd really say more than anything, this one is not so much animatronic. It looks like it's more or less just a statue. And dude, check out these apatosaurs. Well, no, not apatosaurs. It's hadrosaurs. Check out these hadrosaurs that are just kind of chilling out. And below here, we also have a baby triceratops. So I'm guessing he doesn't know where his mama is at, even though his mama's right across the room. Actually, correction. Here is the mama's triceratops. <laughs> this one's big. <laughs> and that is so cool. And also, they, they have a, a baby one right there as well. Ooh, his head just moved. Sweet. And you guys, this leads us to where we will be eating here at the restaurant tonight. Here in the great sea deep, right beneath the jellyfish the real life aquarium this is where we will be eating dinner i got our, i got myself a brontosaurus burger my family did the same thing as well um, this, this place absolutely amazing amazing good news the food has arrived the bad news is however I've, I, is I've already taken a bite and I will say this much that hamburger is really really good what do you think about it Lily Jen, what? Good. 
Oh, that thinks it's good. Really, really yummy. Yes, the sandwich is really good. Big old burger. This place only gets a little more sweeter. We're a really fun vacation, you guys. A really fun one. Oh my goodness, you guys, here we go. Just like how all the dinosaurs were wiped out in the first place. Oh my god, dude, that was so awesome. So much, yeah.